Hi, today's video is directed at voters in Nebraska, particularly those that work in the farming and agricultural industries. I'm not the biggest fan of Vice, but I have to give credit where credit is due. Jason did an amazing job with this video. This is great investigative journalism. He did great research and he got some great interviews and he managed to condense years and years of this into an 11 minute video that very articulately describes what is going on in terms of right to repair within the agricultural and farming industries. I typically go over repair and right to repair issues in the consumer electronics industry, but I think this is more important. Whether or not somebody is able to, you know, browse through Tinder or check Facebook after spilling beer on their laptop is not as important as whether or not the price of food production goes up or if crops are going to have the same yield because a farmer is not able to use their tractor because they're not able to fix their tractor without paying $2,000 each time to haul it back and forth to a dealer. The dealer will often charge thousands of dollars for repairs that an independent mechanic could do for 60 to 200 bucks if they just had access to the software or the programming tools and firmware so that once they fixed it, it would start working again. And this video goes over that in great detail. Now, the reason that I'm doing this video is I want people in Nebraska to understand when they vote, and also why they should vote, but when they vote, what they're voting for. So... Here you can see that there is a, that in this video at about eight eight minutes and fifty seconds you can hear Kim Roback of a lobbying firm lobbying on behalf of AT and T and she is opposing the bill and that's fine that we have a back and forth it's okay to have a conversation she should be digging in and she sh people should show up that oppose what it is we're doing to present opposing arguments so that we can get closer to the truth and how things should be that's fine. But what I don't think is fine are dirty tricks behind the scenes, and we're going to go into that in a second. If you want to watch any of the any of the full legislative hearing, that's me in the upper left, right over there, uh, giving her the death stare with while I'm uh, while I'm recording it with my camcorder. I actually recorded and live streamed the entire hearing, and I also made an edited version that I'll link to below. But I was touring around last year and going to all the right to repair hearings and filming the ones that allowed. The, the public to come in and record. So when I say dirty tricks, what I mean is that she who's testifying against right to repair, which is fine, uh, happened to pay off some of the senators. So one of the senators there was Bob Christ, and I decided to look into this since he was fairly dismissive of it. And you can check out this website called followthemoney.org. At followthemoney.org, you can search for a politician and then check out which donations they have received that are on record. So Let's if we now Kim Roback works for the phone, uh, firm Mueller and Roback, and it, if you look over here, you'll see that she gave twenty five hundred eighty two dollars so far. It looks like this year, and when I checked this website last year, the fee was actually thirty five hundred twenty six dollars. Not so it looked like thirty five hundred twenty six last year, and from what I can see now, twenty five eighty two. And she testified to the senator against the bill and he voted against it. Now, if we look at the Chamber of Commerce that also testified against the bill, you'll, they have people there to testify against, they gave $3,810. And last year, that number was at $4,304. You'll also see that there was uh, some, I think, yeah, the Nebraska Equipment Dealers Association, who continuously opposes any type of repair, uh, any type of repair, independent repair, they are at eleven hundred eighty dollars, and of course, why would the, why would the dealer that's charging you to haul this this huge tractor both ways and then bending you over at thousands of dollars for a repair that a mechanic that could come out to your your farm could do for one or two hundred bucks? Why, why would they want you fixing your own tractor? So you could see that they donated eleven hundred and eighty dollars. So the reason that I'm bringing this up and the reason that I'm speaking directly to Nebraska voters is if you are dealing with people that are voting against your interests or they are act if you see that politicians are actively working against your interests and you want to know why what i would suggest before you vote for any of the politicians that you're voting in is that you check out this website and see if the people that are that are against your interests are bribing your local politicians do they ha have they paid for it because if you are unable to fix your tractor if you are if you are a farm owner and you're paying thousands of dollars to get your tractor to the dealer thousands of dollars to fix it at the dealer and thousands of dollars to get it back you know one of the reasons for that is because people like kim roback 
paid off this senator who voted against your interest. And this is what, and, and you can look this up publicly. I'm not making any of this up. Now, there was another senator there that a lot of people in, in the, that were in the audience were not particularly a fan of, and that was Ernie Chambers. And a lot of people in the comments said, Ernie Chambers seems like a troll. I'm not particularly a fan of Ernie Chambers' politics, nor do I agree with him on a lot of issues. But one thing that I have to give him credit for, and credit where credit is due, is if you look up Ernie Chambers on this website, his opinions are his. They are not bought and paid for. You can go through a lot of candidates, you'll see some with a few donations, some with a decent amount, and some that are clearly bought and paid for, like Bob Christ. But if you look at Ernie Chambers, he has raised a total of zero dollars. So regardless of whether or not he is a troll, his opinions are his own, and much props and much respect for that, even if I don't agree with his politics. So check out this website before you vote, and if, and you know, if, again, if you're a farmer and you're paying 2000 one way, 2000 the other way, and thousands at the dealer, just, just look on this website. You know, are the people you are voting for being paid to screw you? And if that's the case, start changing who you vote for. And if you want to see the entire hearing, you can check out my video from March 9th, live from Nebraska, right to repair. It's not the best looking. I didn't get the best camera angle since I was setting up really quickly and trying to plug into their mixer system so that I could get audio directly from the microphones rather from my camera, which I got, but it doesn't look great. And there was also a Nebraska, yeah, there was another video that I did that was edited and chomped down a little bit with my thoughts, which was this one that has Lois Lane in the You'll see why in the thumbnail. And that's it for today. As always, I hope that you learned something. And a great job to Jason Advice for releasing this. This was well done, well thought out, good stuff.